any of these different aspects of your life, if you just apply that one technique, I promise you, you are going to see insights that you are going to change. And if you do that over and over and start thinking about your whole life, eventually you will get to a place where you have no negative thoughts. Welcome to Build with Rob. It is Rob Deerdeck here to tell you that living a life with virtually no negative thoughts is possible. And, and I know what you're saying, like, oh, come on, that's not possible. That's not even like a thing. And, and, and I'll tell you something, you know, I'm, I was, um, you know, really kind of sharing my system and how I have used qualitative data to ask myself how I felt about life, work and health. And it revealed all these things uh, that led me to basically eliminate all different negative aspects of my life. I was sharing this with somebody in the spring of 2021, a year ago, and I basically said I had no negative thoughts. And that somehow ended up into like, um, like a document of when I would do press and he virtually has no negative thoughts. And I was a little sheepish about that. You know what I mean? Cause I was like, man, um, that's bold. That's bold. And that's not entirely true. I thought to myself, you know, like, like sometimes I, I get to this place where, um, I, I do think about certain things in in sort of a negative way. And it really started making me think about what negative thoughts that I do have, because they were, they had become incredibly rare, but it really made me start thinking about the negative thoughts that I had and where were they coming from? Where were they coming from and why did they happen? Like, it's almost like I began to have a negative thought, then stop and evaluate it so I could understand what even led to that negative thought in the first place, right? And, and for me in that time, um, it was incredibly eye-opening and it really was when I finally discovered um, a couple of the key things that are that are instrumental in... Uh, sort of the machine mindset philosophy as it relates to mastering time, energy, and capacity and, and controlling your mind share, right? Because I'm, I realized that for the most part, like I would only be negative like when I was overwhelmed, right? And like anytime I got overwhelmed, right? Because I always like to say, you know, you, you're, you're doing, if you get overwhelmed, you're not doing too much unless you get overwhelmed, right? Because everybody's ability to compartmentalize and, and multitask and have a bunch of different projects going is different. But if you get overwhelmed, um, it dumps you into this negative place, you know? And for me, you know, it, it was... Um, you know, I had taken on so many different things and no sooner was I like, you know, kind of preaching about, um, no negative thoughts was I starting to, to have negative thoughts. Right. And for me in this game, you know, if you want to talk loud about your philosophy and how you live life, uh, you know, you can't just preach about it. You got to be about it. You know what I mean? I'm not, I, look, I don't preach about it. I be about it. I want to live what I say. I want to be the epitome of my philosophy. And it, it, it's important to me um, that when I share things with people and share my ideas and techniques and things that I use that, man, I embody that philosophy in, in all aspects of my life. And, and for me, in this sort of particular moment in time, I really discovered like, wow, I am overwhelmed. That's why I'm, I'm actually uh, feeling sort of negative uh, with everything that I'm doing. Because at, at the time, you know, I'm, I did not understand like uh, adding, doing press and doing all these podcasts and then launching all these companies and then doing my own podcast while still shooting TV and living uh, you know, balanced within that system and, and my kids growing and evolving into different, uh, activities and stages, relationship and life evolving, everything evolving and changing. And all of a sudden this beautiful system that I built had overwhelmed me 
and I was drifting into negative thoughts. And, and, and look, this is my version of negative thoughts um, is probably a lot different than most people, right? Because, because again, you know, I, I for the most part have no reason to think negatively. I'm not overly positive. I'm not someone that that's, you know, so optimistic when when things are bad or out of control or um, not going the way that I expected that I'm like, hey, I'm so positive. I'm not negative. It's I built a life uh, that has so much intention and control and then went and eliminated all of the things that actually caused me to have negative thoughts so that I can live in this state of positivity in, in a perpetual way, you know? And, and for me, and it's funny, you know, like, I swear to you, every time I get overwhelmed, I start singing, come on, take the money and run. <laughs> come on take the money and run because like when i get over the edge all i think to myself is like man why are you doing any of this why are you why don't you just go move to a beach like why 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 even work ever again in your life like what are you even doing uh you know it, it, it is any time that i'm prepared to sell everything get rid of everything and move to a beach because i feel like i'm naturally drawn to the equator the equator of this earth where it stays 85 all year round. It's where I feel like I am naturally uh, drawn to. So when I get overwhelmed and then drive into a negative place, it is take the money and run. And, and again, that's, that is um, also not a very relatable version of negativity, but I, I want to digress back to all the work that I've done in my life uh, that has allowed me to get to a place that I don't have anything to actually be negative of, negative about uh, allows me to deal with things that may drive me to be negative in a much easier and lighter and more offensive manner. You know, and because I like to say, you know, you, you hear me preach about it, um, about how you can, you know, you can be drawn between five states, right? And it's either you're dwelling and sulking and you're just living in the negativity or you're problem solving, you're experiencing the present or you're creating the future or you're hoping and wishing, you know, and if you're sulking and being negative, like you're, you're negative, you have plenty of negative thoughts uh, and, and if you're problem solving, you're, you're no longer in a negative state about it as much as you're handling it, experiencing life, creating a better future. And then of course, if you're hoping and wishing something would change or be different or that it comes true rather than taking action, it's just never, ever going to happen, you know? And, and, and I, I you know, even when I realized that at this same sort of time that I realized capacity you know, I just began to be able to see, um, like negative things that were happening to me from a much clearer perspective, you know, and, and, and when I began to look at life through that lens of like, oh, I don't ever want to be sulk. I want to be taking action. Uh, I don't want to ever be hoping and wishing. I want to be experiencing or creating the future. And then I began to understand at a deeper level, like my own personal capacity was like the actual trigger that would push me over the edge to drive me into a negative state. Um, it, it really changed how I, I viewed life. It, it, it was, it changed my perspective of things as they were happening to me. Because again, when, when you know, like how you actually look at something bad in your life or something that happens um, will determine the lens that you put on it, right? Something bad could happen to you and you could be like, man, that was crazy, but I learned this, this, and this. All right, moving on. Or you could sit and be so bummed and like not even look at the lesson, not even care about the lesson, but just dwell on it and, and wish you wouldn't have done this. And, oh, I wish this, What you know, you can, you can approach it from two different states because ultimately like your life and your perspective on, on, on that when it happens will dictate how you look at it. And, and again, even for me, when I get overwhelmed, my perspective changes. 
on on literally day to day, the day I get overwhelmed, something that I would have I would have never even thought about in a negative light that I all of a sudden look at in a negative way. And and I'm telling you, this was so much more significant in my life five, six years ago when I really began uh, sort of this process of building a more systematic approach to my existence and using data as as insight to how that I'm feeling, right? Because, you know, you know, with the qualitative data, I always say, you know, if it's uh, if it's five, I'm neutral. If it's six and above, I'm hopeful. If it's four and below, I'm half empty and and in a negative space, right? And when you get half empty, man, you you pick apart the most random, random things. And 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 I always use like really weird examples, but like I, I swear I would be. I would go into a half empty space and then be mad at my dining set. I would be mad at my dining set because I paid $4,200 for like an oak wood modern table. And I'd be like, who even does that? Who even does that? Where I had walked by and enjoyed that table with my nice Eames chairs for like the last year, all of a sudden, because I'm in a half empty, uh, uh, negative state, I'm worried about the price that I paid for a table, you know? And, and, and I, I think the, the beauty for me, as it relates to understanding how important that qualitative data was for me, um, of, of understanding what was causing me to be negative about things or feel half empty, that, that, that self-awareness of that really began to change everything for me. And, and now when you think about applying that, you know, over years and years and years, right? Because we're dynamic, deep, multidimensional beings, Okay. And we have layered in so many emotions and triggers and desires and fears into our entire existence. And all it takes is two or three bad things to happen to us to where all of our fears, insecurities, and negativities boil right up to the top. And we question everything and then overreact and our entire life then feels incredibly negative, right? But I'm telling you, with the right amount of work of, of continuing to design your life and then gathering insights through data to refine your life to where you lead your life to a place where you just don't have anything negative to think about, it's possible because I've done it, you know? Um, but again, you don't do it overnight. It is one of those things that like you have to, um, continually like go through it and get better and better and better at it with time, you know? And, and, you know, uh, when I talk about, you know, my overall philosophy, that is the machine mindset and systematically fusing art, science, and magic, you know? create and design what you want and implement the plan and then let the law of attraction and the universe like conspire to, to draw you towards that plan. You know, you got to start first by really uh, mastering time, energy, and capacity, living life with complete intention uh, and, and being super healthy and understanding what you're capable of and then expanding towards your goals. So you continue to grow and evolve and become more dynamic and, and set quantifiable goals for your health and your finances and your career and your relationships, all these different sort of things. Um, all of that is, is, part of the system that leads you away from having negative things to think about, right? Because if you let your health get away, then like now it's summertime and, in, you know, what do you got? You got that winter snack body ready to, ready to hit the pool with that winter snack body. Now you're all like, oh, I'm not, you know, I got to get into shit. You got to make that decision. It disrupts your energy. And now like, you know, God forbid, like you, um, spent all the money you saved on a brand new Audi. Okay. I've done it before. 
You know what I mean? I'm the type of guy that would be quick to buy a, a 911 Turbo and drain the bank account uh, when he was young instead of saving and investing that money. And then all of a sudden... Uh, something becomes unstable in your career and you don't have money saved and boy, it pulls from you. You know what I mean? You're in a relationship that's uh, pulling energy and and you're, the other things in your life are destabilizing you and you can't be present or be uh, the right boyfriend or girlfriend in a relationship. And now, boy, look at, look at, look at all of these places now that could lead you to a negative thought. And, and and begin the process of pulling you down into half empty and then just keeping you there where then you basically sulk and live in that negative space before you finally get to a, a, a place where, okay, enough is enough. Uh, I'm going to, to, to take the action now uh, to get back into living in the present and ultimately creating the future. Um, it, it is... It is the cycle that so many people get trapped in, you know, and, and so if somebody that lives like that, like I did, you know, even, you know, five, six years ago, the idea of like having, uh, even an hour without negative thinking seemed impossible. Right. And, and to me, um, you know, it's, it's another reason of when I say like, you know, my mission is to, um, create harmonious, high quality existences, right? Like I ultimately want to inspire anybody uh, that listens to this show. That's, that's what we're all hunting, right? Harmonious, high quality existence. And inside the harmony is when you have basically built all these aspects of your life in a way that they are both, um, that they grow into, uh, you know, sustainability and a harmonious state in the whole system. So there's no reason for you to think negative about it. If you end up uh, taking care of yourself and eating healthy all the time, and now you, you're you never going to be sad when it's time for, for summertime, you're ready to take your shirt off and get, get into the pool. You know what I mean? Like it's, you're not going to worry about um, how you feel because you're taking care of your energy and your health. When you, when you set a goal for saving money and you save the money and now you have the peace of mind, if some something happens in your career, you're not going to have the same level of anxiety or negativity that goes with it. If you get into a great relationship and build that relationship uh, with purpose and strength over time, and uh, it is a part of serving your positivity, and if something happens in it, the other parts of your life are balanced in a way that you can attack it and weather it and solve it and get back to a harmonious state. Um, this is the the way that no negative thoughts is possible. And, and again, I, you know, I, I would say if I started using qualitative data in 2015, asking myself every day how I felt about my life, work, and health, and then began to see insights and things that I needed to change over the years, it took me five years before I did it actually every day. I would do it in spurts, right? Make some changes, do it in spurts. And I just got more and more consistent over time. And then by the time I get to 2021, man, I am so highly optimized and super ultra aware of, of how I'm feeling, what's happening in my life, what, where are the causes and effects that are creating negativity or imbalance in my existence. And I'm beginning to see a path towards no negative thoughts. Then I share it. Then I question myself, which then reveals uh, this idea of like, no, you only truly get negative when you get overwhelmed. Now refine and optimize your system to where you no longer get overwhelmed. And then boom, you eventually get to a place where you have no negative thoughts. Now think about this from a compounding standpoint. Think about if you just spend all day 
in a perpetual state of of not only thinking positively but thinking positively about creating the future and and what you're going to be doing in the future and how much better life's going to get and how much healthier you know you're going to get and how much better your relationship your better your job your career is going to get by by having harmony connected to goals right like that that now really truly will accelerate your ability uh, to achieve a higher quality of life and ultimately the ideal life uh, that you envision for yourself, you know, and, and, and what I, why I really like just repeating these same sort of things to everybody that listens and, and really try to give examples of, of, of different versions and different sort of angles of how I've applied these different techniques to get me to this, this harmonious state is because like, I know how much, uh, of an impact it's made on me. Um, and I know it's one of those things that's a little bit technical that you have to kind of hear over and over and begin to understand it and think about how you would actually apply it. And I need to implore that it's difficult and you get better at it over time. Uh, but but what it's val- what the value is more than anything is you know, it's true happiness. You know what I mean? Like it's getting to this state and getting to a place where you have very few negative thoughts is absolutely possible and you don't do it by being a positive thinker you you do it by creating a life where n- there are no negative things that are happening to you and you have a lot more control and a lot more say in that um than you realize and and ultimately um it is where true happiness is found you know, and, and to me, even if you start small and begin the process, even if you don't believe it, uh, but you just begin to 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 use qualitative data to just find one thing to change. Ask yourself every day, how do I feel about my life zero to ten? Anytime uh, you are above a five and hopeful, ask, think about why you are and make a note of that. Anytime you're below and half empty, make a note of it. And what can you do to change it? It's as simple as that. And just do one at a time. You get pulled down and two or three times by the same person. It's time to realize that that person may not be, should not be in your life, or you have to reframe the relationship you have with that person, you know, your job, uh, you know, any of these different aspects of your life. If you just apply that one technique, I promise you, you are going to see insights that you are going to change. And if you do that over and over and start thinking about your whole life, eventually you will get to a place where you have no negative thoughts. And when you do have a negative thought, it's going to be isolated and you're going to have the energy and understanding and the awareness to attack that single issue and solve it, neutralize it, and then move back into your perpetual state of harmonious, high quality living. Because that's what it's all about. Uh, You know, you know, you know, I preach it. I, I love and am thankful for all of you. Uh, that join and listen and, and, and hear me say it over and over uh, of course on every one of these episodes wherever you listen to it like subscribe wherever if you watch it interact you know what I mean don't be afraid to repost some of those highlights we post you know it, it's always funny to, for me to come back and see sort of the highlights that end up on social media for me to remember what I what I even said you know what I mean because I just get on here and just get to ranting just get to ranting because that's uh, really what I enjoy doing and I love doing this show so thankful for every single person that listens Uh, you know per usual you know you want to pitch us an idea you want to be on this show you want to be part of our community everything exists at deerdeckmachine.com and you know what I do down here I preach vision I preach plan and I preach ambition Uh, until next time see it believe it do it